A jury at the Old Bailey has begun its deliberations in the case of a Kent businessman accused of selling fake bomb detectors. Yes, Gary Bolton's Ashford-based firm made millions of pounds selling the devices around the world, claiming that they could detect drugs, cigarettes and even human bodies as well as explosives. Sarah Smith reports. It's now up to a jury to decide if Gary Bolton knew the device he sold around the world was a fake. The GT200, he claimed, could detect tiny amounts of tobacco, narcotics or explosives from great distances. Made at his factory in Ashford, it was said a special image of the target on a piece of paper was all that was needed for it to operate. Summing up today, the judge reminded the jury they'd heard from a cohort of distinguished scientists saying that, frankly, this device is no more than an empty plastic box with no working parts. 2,000 of them were sold to countries including Mexico, Thailand and China. The defence said the judge was that a large number of government agencies around the world had apparently been impressed with the device in the field and purchased it. No British agencies had bought one though and Home Office testing concluded it didn't work. Gary Bolton said there was no scientific principle behind the GT200 but the people needed to see it in action with their own eyes. One leading scientist described it outright as a hoax. Well, Sarah is at the Old Bailey for us still. And Sarah, so what exactly is it that the jury has got to decide here? Well, it doesn't have to decide whether or not this device uh, worked. And indeed, there has been a string of scientists saying that their tests have shown that it doesn't. What matters is what Gary Bolton believed. If he believed it did work, then he's not guilty of fraud. If he really knew that it didn't work and he carried on selling them regardless to make a quick buck, then he is guilty on two counts of fraud. Well, the jury has been deliberating for about an hour this afternoon and they'll return here to carry on with that tomorrow morning. Okay, Sarah, thank you.